In these problems, we're kind of reviewing a lot of the stuff we know how to do with decimals now. The first one says subtract 2.4 from 8. So we'll set this up. Remember, when you just have a whole number, the decimal point is right there. So I'm going to line this up so that the decimal points are in the same column. And then I can fill in with a trailing 0 after the 8. So this is 8 minus 2.4. Well, let's see. It looks like I'm going to have to borrow here. So 10 minus 4 is 6. 7 minus 2 is 5. And then we bring the decimal point down. And our answer is 5.6. Next, we have a multiplication problem. 0 0.3 times 0 0.3. Hey, that's 0 0.3 squared. And I take this 3 and I multiply by the numbers on top. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 0 is going to be 0. That's not going to add anything. This number is a 0. That's not going to add anything. So we've got our, our answer there. We just need to figure out where to put the decimal point. So I count the number of digits on both these two numbers that are to the right of the decimal point. There's one on the top, one on the bottom. That's a total of 2. To get 2 behind the decimal point down here, I've got to add a 0 in front. And our answer is 0.09. All right, one more. This one says, which shows the decimal number 17 thousandths in digits? So we've got to write that out like a number, 17 thousandths. Well, after the decimal point, you have tenths, and then you have hundredths, and then you have thousandths. So if I wanted one thousandth, I'd put a one in that place, and I would get 0 .001. That would be one thousandth. If I wanted nine thousandths, I would put a nine in that place. If I want 17, I actually have to put a seven in the thousandths place and a one in the, in the hundredths place. That is 17 thousandths. And that's the answer they wanted.